Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa and I am the cruise director on the Magical Mystery Tour. Today we're going to make our skin skin. We're going to make our skin look glowy. There's three easy steps that I do to this and that's what we're going to break it down to. We're not going to see me create this whole look. We're going to see how we make our skin skin and glow and look lit from within. If you want to see how to do this please stick around but first don't forget to subscribe to my channel ring the notification bell to be alerted to any new uploads and if you like this video at the end please give it a big thumbs up let's go see how to do this okay so i'm going to talk you through the steps that i do i'm not going to show you everything that I do makeup wise today but more importantly the steps that you can incorporate to ensure that you get this glowy lip from within um, look that your makeup is skinning and this glow is gorgeous so the first thing obviously we're going to assume going to assume that you're on top of your skincare at the moment and that you are working with a well-balanced hydrated skin so we've got to ensure it. most of our makeup problems will start with if we're not taking care of our skin so i am pretty balanced at the moment you can see i've sort of got well she's pretty good um she's very juicy this morning i have upped my hydration for winter so i've bought in more emollient um face creams I'm adding more hydration everything is about hydration for winter but first up the first thing that um, we need right at the base of our makeup is an illuminating primer now pick one that works for you I'm looking at my drawer I've got a hey just hopping in before I do the rest I have used the makeup revolution skin silk serum tint for my foundation today and then surprisingly considering I'm talking about going glowy I've used the Nikia Joy Cosmetics um, translucent velvet pressed powder this is a mattifying powder um, as you can tell I love it um, so you can see I am pretty I'm demi matte now so and you would think that that's where you go wrong actually not we're going to bring all of that back in a second okay so this is where we're at right now I've done a pretty natural makeup look today used all powder products so powder bronzer a really light powdered blush eyeshadows next step is highlighter highlighter and the placement of it so I'm using today just a sort of gold based highlighter. You use the tone that works for you. This one is the Charlotte Tilbury Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighter in Champagne Glow. It doesn't have to be this one. I have a heap. It can be any that works for you and your colouring. It's about the placement in this instance. So what we want to do is place it. We're not going up here where all of our crow's feet are we we'll just avoid there what we're doing is we're creating lift on the ball on the apples of our cheeks so just above in this area this is where we're placing it and as you can see we don't go up too high so now we're creating this lit from within glow initially as we're doing this it's going to sit on top of our makeup and it's going to look very highlightery but that's okay so on the apples of our cheeks and you're going to feel like you're probably using too much highlighter just on the tip of our nose i tend to go sort of straight down the center on our chin you can do just above your lip I'm not I've just realized I've got lipstick there it's not happening at the moment okay high points of our brows we start and we go up into a V to start just circle it around and this is where we put the majority of the highlighter in this instance and then with what's left on just across our forehead So you can see we're starting to get this happening now. Now don't worry if it looks like it's too much, if you feel like it's too intense right now. 
and that's literally what we do now the last step is the most important step and that is your setting spray you've seen me if you've been watching it you know that I talk about using a lot of setting spray the whole point of it is to melt your products together to make all of this become super skin like I'm using today and it doesn't matter as long as it says setting spray not a fixing spray because we're wanting to hydrate it can be the Morphe continuous mist it can be the revolution IRL home beauty whatever one works for you it can be a dewy spray we're going to soak our face so you can see my face is wet that's fine that's what we want now we're going to pan it down now that can be using a bit of plastic it can be using a fan we're going to just fan our face down now until it's dry and as you can see what it's starting to do now is melt everything in so if you feel like you've been too intense with particular products this pulls a little bit of the intensity out but everything melts into your skin and all becomes sort of one layer with this And now what that does, as I said, I used a mattifying setting powder and I covered my face with it. But now, you look at that, this is melting in. And even more so, like this looks really good now in that this has, has become so skin light. But give it 20 minutes, half an hour, and it's really going to be imbibed into your skin. And you'll catch yourself, you can be driving in the car to work, Look up in your rear view mirror and a bit of light will hit your face and you're just like, mm, that looks good. But it makes your skin look super healthy. It makes your skin look glowy from within. That's the trick to it. I'm just going to go and finish getting ready and I'll be right back. About 15, 20 minutes will have passed, so that'll really start to have been melting in. Okay, so this is it. I've put mascara on because I'd forgotten to do that because I don't actually put it on before I put my setting spray on so as you can see my skin looks really healthy and glowy it looks like skin it doesn't look like I have cakey powder products on but all my products are powder other than my illuminating primer so what it does is when you have your illuminating primer on then you put your base products over the top then when you place your highlighter in the areas as I showed you and then put your setting spray on and melt everything in so firstly it melts this highlighter in and makes your high points nice and glowy the glow over the rest of my face is still subtle but it comes through the thing with illuminating primers is they allow this little bit of magic to happen and to subtly show through underneath your other products now if you like to use a pore filling primer or a hydrating primer very specifically or an oil reducing primer you can layer these with each other so don't forget that I occasionally very occasionally will use a little bit of a pore filling primer um, in this sort of area where I'm prone to texture or sometimes if I feel like I need a bit of extra moisture I'll really pump a hydrating primer in on top of what I've used but not often I tend to probably 95% of the time stick to a straight illuminating primer because it does do that look at that there's not enough light outside at the moment for me to go and stand in daylight and get a good shot but hopefully about here I can insert either a couple of photos or a little bit of video footage of me in natural light with that reflecting off so you can see how skin like it really is that is it my friends I hope this helped try it out as you can see I'm, I'm not wearing heavy makeup today it's a skin tint but it is a mattifying uh, pressed powder. Until next time, don't forget to tell your mum, tell your sister, tell your friends, come along, subscribe to the channel, hang out. Um, I'm over on Instagram too, Teresa Madeline over there. Uh, there is the link in the description box. 
don't be afraid to tag me. If you try any of the makeup looks that I've done, please tag me in it. I would love to see them. Until next time, my loves, take care. Bye.